So I'm on, I'm a little bit early. I would normally I was going to come on about five o'clock, but if you're watching this on the replay, then it doesn't really matter about time. So we're doing a Thai style pork rice bowl. If you remember a couple of days ago, I made uh, tacos. It was tacos last thing I made, and I've had this in my fridge for a few days. It's fine to use, guys. It's fine to use. Um, if not, if I didn't use it again today, then it would have to be binned. So we're going to use the rest of the lean pork mince that we had from the other day. So from Friday. So it's only two days it's been in the fridge. That's fine. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like the hat. If you can see on the hat, it says there, Chef Aiden. This was a birthday present from Caroline. So thank you so much, Caroline. Um, so we're going to do HelloFresh. If you're new to watching me and uh, want to get HelloFresh, there's a link in my bio, link tree. And it says, it says US, you can get $40 off. Uh, if you're in the UK, there's one also with a, a Union Jack flag on it, and you can get $20, uh, twenty pounds off. So you can get um, try a meal, but you mustn't have had HelloFresh before. So we're going to do this one. I've done this a few times before, so let's go through this. I'm going to take the hat off. It's a great hat, but it's getting a little bit warm. Plus, I don't need to wear it uh, whilst I'm doing this at the minute. So when we do uh, another recipe, though, I will wear that when I'm doing some baking and stuff. So love it though it's a great and i've also got my apron on as well that melanie sent me so so we're gonna need for this then you're gonna need some basmati rice so basmati rice um i'm also going to be using doesn't ask for the peppers but these are the peppers that i grew from this kitchen they're only small but we're going to use them in this dish so i guess about you know two or three of small ones is the equivalent of one pepper so we're going to add them in and we'll cut them up for the first time. So it's taken a while to grow, but we've we've not really had much of a good summer, really. Not not in terms of like sunlight, you know, in the kitchen. So and um, that's why they've not grown as well. They're in the greenhouse. They might have got double the size. I'm not sure. So you need some also some garlic cloves. Okay, so we've got some garlic here as well. Okay, I'm just gonna press the message on the screen. So uh, hi Melanie, how are you doing? So we've got some garlic here as well. We've also got some spring onions. These are sort of ready to be thrown away. So if I didn't use them today, they would have to be thrown away. Do you remember the onions that we cut up and I sealed them in the box? So white onions already chopped up. And then we're gonna got, we've got some green beans as well. So they're sort of at the red stage where they need to, need to be binned. So. And then we've also, instead of chili, we're gonna use cayenne chili pepper. Cayenne chili pepper. And finally, you need some soy sauce. Let me just grab my soy sauce. If I can find it. I hope I've got some. I might not actually have any soy sauce. I hope I've got, I've got some. Because we're going to make, we've got some soy sauce here we're going to use. And we've all, we're also going to make what's called a ketchup manis, which is basically ginger, brown sugar, soy sauce and garlic all in a pan in which we're then going to make a nice sticky sauce. Uh, I think we can add a bit of barbecue sauce in there as well and that'll give it a nice kick. So let's make a start then. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cook the rice. So I'm going to put the kettle on so it gets nice and hot. So really quick way of doing rice. If I can get the right colour. One minute. Wrong plug again. Won't be a second everyone. So I'm just going to boil some uh, water and then I can put the rice. Hello, Tessie. Good to see you. So I know I was on earlier on and it was having my uh, I was having my carrot cake and my coffee from McDonald's uh, and then that war. So I had a few hours rest and then we're, we're now live. We're cooking. Uh, so we're going to do the rice. We need uh, 150 grams of rice. 150 grams of rice. So let's weigh this out. So we can get a a bowl. So the, the best thing though about once you've done all your, you know when you've grown all your plants in the kitchen and things, my hat, I've just taken it off because it's a little bit warm wearing it, um, but I definitely will wear it another time. Um, plus I don't want the neighbours looking through. They'll see my hat rather than the phone. Um, so let's just weigh this out. So we want 150 grams. Now we need to put this through some water, remember, because it's basmati rice. So 
I'm actually going to do less. It says 150 grams, but I'm going to do less rice because I always seem to have too much of it. So instead of 75 grams per person, I'm going to do 50. So, and then I get rice everywhere. So I'm going to get a sieve. I'm just going to rinse this through some water. So there's the basmati rice. How's the signal, guys? Is it okay? I'm just going to rinse this through some water. And the reason we rinse it through is to, uh, I think it's to help it cook. And I think it absorbs the water quickly as well. So, so I'm going to pop this into my pan, like that. Pop that on the hob. And then I'm going to get my hot boiling water. And I think it was 200 ml, I think. You kind of know how much water to add. As long as you, I think, as long as you cover it over, that's totally fine. So you want to cover it over. I'm going to pop this on, and then I'm going to put my steamer on the top, and that just helps it cook a lot quicker. Okay. So let's turn this off, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up my pan. So I'm going to heat up the pan because that's going to be the next step. That's falling everywhere. I'm just going to check. We need to add. Uh, oh, I actually asked to do the green beans first. Um, oh, in the pan, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I was thinking frying pan, but I'm going to use the different pan. So, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to half peel. Oh, we needed to add some salt to that rice, I think. So put water for the rice into a saucepan, bring to the boil. When boiling, add, add some salt. So yeah, don't usually ask for, this, for any salt. I'm out of pepper. We're going to add a little bit of salt in there as well. I don't think it's ever asked for salt in rice. So oh, it's getting hot. Um, do we need to add some oil? I think we do, yeah. Get a little bit of oil. And I'm going to put this on low. Just a tiny bit. Okay. And what we're going to do is half peel and chop the shallots. Well, we've already got the shallots or white onions, so they're all ready. Um, and then we need, we've got garlic. Well, we're going to use a garlic press for that. So I've got my garlic press. Great gadget to use. I've got this, I've got this from Ikea. And it, I think it was only like three or four pounds. And it is so good. It really, guys, invest in a garlic press. So I'll put that to one side. Um, and then we've got, we're not, we're not using red chilies, we're going to use chilli powder. So if you're using red chilies, chop them up. And then you want to trim and thinly slice the spring onions. So these are ready to be used today. Get rid of the, the plastic bands. And then what we're going to do is just chop these up. So I'm going to grab a knife. So how's your day, how's everyone's day going today? We, how's your day going? So we're going to chop these off. And then we're going to just chop these up. I really enjoyed that cake earlier today. It's really nice. So we're going to chop it all up, even the, the leaves. go and then I'm going to put it into that bowl just like this these are slightly frozen I'll be honest with you these are slightly I think because they've been in the fridge I think the dial on my fridge has been turned up not because I've turned it up. Sometimes it catches something in the fridge as you put something in. So what do we call these? We call these spring onions. These are spring onions. I know you guys in the States call them scallions. So not green onions, spring onions. Spring onions because they spring upwards. So yeah, we call them spring onions. Right, next thing we're going to do then is we need to trim the green beans. 
So these are slightly frozen as well. It doesn't matter. And what we're going to do, I'm going to use all of these up. I'll put them in a line. Just line them all up. And then just cut down the middle. And just check I've not missed any. That looks fine to me. Get rid of these. And you're probably thinking, well, how are they frozen? Yeah, my fridge has... It probably needs to be defrosted, to be honest with you. I don't think it's ever been defrosted. Now, we're cutting these into... We're not cutting them into... Oh, we're cutting them into thirds. So you want to cut these into thirds. So just slide down the middle. Really simple. And then we're going to we're gonna pop these straight into the pan. Okay, so heat, heat oil in a frying pan. Once it's hot, add the green beans. Easy peasy. Yep, so we're going to pop these straight into the pan. And we're going to get them cooking. So five to six minutes, it says. Okay. I'm going to get a wooden spoon. Just going to fry them off for about five to six minutes. So really, really simple, really, really easy. Hands nice and hot. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do after once this is done, we're going to transfer them to a plate, cook, and then we're going to cook the mince. So this is what we're doing tonight, everybody. It's called a Thai style pork. Oh, I know what we forgot to do. So these are the on these are the onions. These are peppers. These are homegrown. They've been grown in this kitchen all year. So let's have a look inside and see how they look. So I'm going to do my best not to cut too much off. So we've actually yeah, these are perfect. They're only small, but yeah, these these are the first time I've ever grown peppers. And guess what we're going to use to cut this up? We'll cut them all up. Wow. So yeah, we've got, that, we've got the seeds in there as well. So I'll save the seeds. Have a little taste of it then. Oh, they're good. Mmm. Really nice. Very tiny, but. Say I've grown them myself. I'm going to take the seeds out. It's a bit more difficult when they're smaller. Take them seeds out. Really nice. Yeah, they're not they're not really raw, Melanie. A little bit is, but not not all of it. Because they're really small, they actually taste all right. They're cooking up nicely. So we're going to pop them in a little dicer. We'll pop them through the dicer. So get these chopped, get chopped up. The best thing about them being so small is that you can actually put the whole thing, so this is homegrown, made, I put, I've grown these in my kitchen, has it frozen, are we back on? You can just put it straight in and slot it straight through. There you go. Same with the other one. Homegrown peppers, bell peppers. Yeah, I'm like that, I, I don't... And then we've got our chopped, our chopped homegrown Yorkshire peppers, Yorkshire bell peppers there. So this is nearly, nearly fried. So I'll pop that to one side and then I'm going to fry them with the onions, I think. 
So it says then, it says, keep the pan on high heat and add a splash of oil if the pan is dry. Oh, this is after the green beans, so I need another bowl. I'll tell you something, I, I bought this yesterday as well. I bought these yesterday. Look, from Wilkinson's, look. I don't know if you can see that. Silicon muffin cases. Silicon muffin cases. So they're actually reusable. So these are nearly done. I'm going to give it a few more minutes because as I said they were slightly, slightly frozen. Not frozen but they've just been in the fridge. So I want them to be a, a nice brown colour. So yeah I can use them now so I don't have to constantly buy muffins, you know, muffin cases. Oh, just an end there. Get rid of that. So another few minutes and then we're going to do the pork. It's really good, Ricky, the the, uh, the dicer. I should sell them, shouldn't I? <laughs> I think they'd make a, I'd make probably make sell loads of these. But you can just get them on Amazon. They're called Genius. The Genius Dicer. But I do want the Pampered Chef one that Alexa sells. So it's about it's it's about twenty. Well, it's about twenty pounds. No, no, it's more than that. It's twenty dollars. So I might get one from her next month, actually. But it's the shipping cost, that's the only problem. So. Right, let's take these out, because these don't take long to, to cook. So, I'm going to take these out, and then we're going to do the pork mince. So add a little bit more oil in here. Okay, so they're not, they're not too brown. To burn. So next thing we're going to add a little bit of oil in here, a little bit more oil, just a drop, and then we're going to add in the pork mince. So this is definitely ready. So try and get it to room temperature if you can. Let's put this in. Break that up. So you don't have to use pork mince, you can use lamb mince, you can use any type of mince. So you could you do French fries? You can do um you can do potato wedges. There's a potato wedger. Let me show you that. Potato wedger. Oh, I don't have it in there. I must oh, I've used it here. You can't use carrots though, and the potatoes have to be at room temperature. That's the potato wedger. So you can slice up potatoes. And it worked really well the other day when I made the wedges. So, so just break up your mint. Turn the pan down if it's too hot. So is it, uh, it's not spicy yet, no, but what we will be doing is make, we're going to be adding some chilli powder in and we're going to add some soy sauce, we're going to make a ketchup manning, which is like a sticky, um, sweet and sour sticky sauce. So we've got some barbecue sauce and garlic and ginger that we're going to be doing soon. So let me get my little pan out for that, if that's what I use. I can actually do it in a... I actually lost my... I don't know where my other little pan is. So we're going to use a saucepan for the, for the barbecue sauce. Which I'll show you how to make shortly. Probably should start on it now. <laughs> yeah, let's start on the actual sauce. So I'm going to turn on my hob. And we're going to start by adding... I'll show you how to do it. You want some soy sauce. So you can add some soy sauce into a saucepan, so a few drops of soy sauce, not too much, just so you cover your pan by about a centimetre. Okay, and then we're going to add some brown sugar, so dark brown sugar, I've done this so many times now, so you're going to add some dark brown sugar.
Wait, stop the fixing up. And you can always add as you can always add as much uh, more uh, um, soy sauce to it. So get a little spoon. And I'll just stir that. Just get a little spoon. You might need a bit more soy sauce because you need to think how much meat you're cooking. But we're going to be adding soy, more soy sauce to this anyway. And then we're going to add some ginger. We're going to add some ginger. So a squeeze of ginger. So hats need smelly vision, they definitely do. So add a bit of ginger in there. About a tablespoon's fine. And then we're going to add some barbecue sauce. Well, not barbecue sauce. I'm going to add some hoisin sauce. So we add some hoisin sauce to this. So add some hoisin sauce. Not too much. So I'm going to use hoisin sauce instead of barbecue sauce. And then just mix all that in. And this is going to create a nice thick sauce. Can you see that? So we've got soy sauce, ginger. Garlic to this sauce as well. So, did we get all that? Did we get all that? So, Whilst this was, I was used the dicer for that. So break all that up. Add them in. Uh, we're going to add some garlic. So garlic to the pork. I love garlic. So let's add this in. Get that out. So this is really easy. Let me know if you've ever done one of these before. It's great if you've got any leftovers. So mix all the garlic into the pork and the uh, onions. I love garlic. I'm going to add some more in. And let me know if you've ever had HelloFresh before. So let me know where you're watching from. And let me know if you've ever had HelloFresh. Because this is a HelloFresh recipe, but all the stuff here has been bought separately. Because at this, the first time I got this recipe, I had the ingredients. So we're sort of doing this. We're doing this recipe. It's the same way, same way. Just I'm going to add the peppers in as well. So them green peppers that I made, that you know I grown myself. I've added them in. Oh, the smells coming off this. And then we're also going to add in some spring onion. So let's get the spring onion in there, put it all in. Yep, we're going to add all the spring onion in. Get all that in. It smells so good. You're watching from uh, West Virginia. West Virginia. I'd love to visit there one day. We know Melanie. Melanie's in Boston in Lincolnshire. Not far, just down the road. It smells so good, this. You can't see it, can you? You'll get to see it though eventually. Let's check on the rice. Oh, the rice is done. So the rice is done. Give that a stir. So check on your rice. Because you don't want your rice to burn. And you can always add a little bit of water in here. Can you all see that? There's the white basmati rice. So that's perfect. So I'm going to put a lid over that and just pop that to one side. Whilst everything's cooking together. I'm actually going to turn off. And it's bubbling away now, so. So you want that sauce to boil. So once it starts to boil, take it off the hob. As soon as it starts to boil, because that's you don't want to burn the sugar. Because we've got brown sugar in there. So it smells so good already. Right, what else do we need to add to this? 
Oh, we're going to add the chilli powder. So this is the point where you make it as spicy or, or as As you want, so, so we're going to add some one to that. There we go. Yep. And then mix. If you like, like your food spicy, do let me know in the chat. Pull that in. Spice it. So the theme will be hat spices in November. In October, we're going to be doing haps harvest. November is going to be spices. Uh, Stand to bubble away. Way already. So we'll just there we go. It's doing that. We we'll also need to add the green beans that we cooked off it and just stir it. On the hob and turn it down. Are we back on now? Has the signal gone off? Are we good? Sorry about that if that happened. Are we good? Let me know in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, 